Some V speeds are located on your airspeed indicator and some are not, but they should all be known and understood by students and pilots. Hello everyone, my name is Steve, the Wired Flyer, and I break down aviation concepts in a simple to understand way. And by the end of this video, you will understand the different V speeds and some of the color args associated with them on the airspeed indicator. Without wasting any more time, let's dive in. What are V speeds? Well, the V stands for velocity, and they are basically standardized air speeds for different moments in flight that the pilots should know. Different limits and minimums and target speeds for the pilot to aim for during different moments in flight, like takeoff, landing, climbing, etc. And each aircraft is going to have its own unique V speeds for you to memorize. And they're all located in the pilot's operating handbook. And some of them are even going to be on your airspeed indicator. V speeds refer to the indicated airspeed. Indicated airspeed basically reflects what the wings feel. How much air is actually hitting the wings, no matter the altitude or temperature. So now let's go over the different V speeds that you must know and understand. And we're going to start off with the ones that are located on your airspeed indicator. And you might notice on these analog airspeed indicators that there are colored arcs. There's the white arc, green arc, yellow, and red. And they represent different V speeds. So starting off with the white arc, if you look at VS0, which is at the bottom of the white arc, that is your stall speed in landing configuration, meaning your stall speed with flaps and landing gear lowered. So if you go below that speed of that white arc at VS0, then you are going to stall the airplane if your flaps and landing gears extended. And then looking at the other side of that white arc, we have VFE, which is the maximum flaps extended airspeed you can travel at without damaging the aircraft. So that's the fastest speed you can go when extending your flaps. If you extend them beyond this point, you will damage them. Moving on to the green arc and looking at the bottom of the green arc there, we have VS1. Now this is the stall speed in a clean configuration. So going below the speed with your flaps up will cause you to stall the aircraft. So you obviously wanna be very aware of your air speeds. Then moving on to the top of the green arc is VNO, the maximum structural cruising speed. And this is the max speed you should fly at when in turbulent air. And up to VNO, you can still withstand gust loads and control deflections without causing any damage. Which leads us to the yellow arc, which is the caution range. And you should only fly in that yellow zone in smooth air because if you're flying in that caution zone and you get a big gust load you could certainly damage the aircraft and the last v speed on the airspeed indicator is on that red arc right there which is v and e which is the never exceed speed now flying in this airspeed even in smooth air could certainly damage the structural integrity of the aircraft so do not ever exceed that speed moving on to the three different v speeds that you should know and understand and memorize that are not located on the airspeed indicator they are inside your pilot's operating handbook for the specific aircraft you're flying though and the first speed we'll go over is VX, which is the best angle of climb and basically that will get you the highest altitude possible in the shortest amount of horizontal distance. And that's basically for climbing over obstacles that are close by. And then we also have VY, which is the best rate of climb. And like the name suggests, that will allow you to reach a certain altitude in the shortest amount of time. And then we have VA, which is your maneuvering speed. So you have to travel below VA if you want to use full control deflections on the aircraft. One thing to keep in mind about VA is that it's dynamic. So it changes depending on the weight of the aircraft and lower weight actually gives you a lower maneuvering speed. So those are the V speeds that you should know and understand. Hopefully this video has helped you out in understanding them. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Steve with The Wired Flyer, and I'm documenting my journey from journeyman electrician to commercial pilot at 30 years old with a family. Join me on the journey and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, keep learning, stay motivated, and chase your dreams. Let's go.